it's exactly two weeks post-surgery and I am finally getting my splint removed. Surgery was on October 23rd, 2023 and today is November 6th, 2023. Are you okay if I talk in here? Oh, absolutely. So the other thing I want to tell people is I point out that their foot is pointed, mm -hmm. which means when you go in the boot today, mm -hmm. I know you have the heel lifts in there, but your foot's not going to really fit great in there you're going to kind of feel like oh, i'm kind of wedged up and uh, i'm not getting down all the way mm -hmm. that's normal too until that ankle loosens up a little bit so okay. when i do put you in there you're going to kind of feel like i've just kind of wedged you in there and you're going to get back on your knee walker and mm -hmm. on your way but it will get better as time goes by so okay again a lot of things about these achilles that are just kind of awkward at first but mm -hmm. i don't have to let it go okay Okay, that was a lot easier than I was anticipating. Thought you would have had to like drill me out. <laughs> That's why we leave that split down the middle. Okay. Now, if one of the residents crosses that over, then we get the cast saw out and have to do all kind of stuff. Lift that out for me and just kind of okay. take whatever comes with you there. Perfect. Uh -huh. I'll just take, take a little bit here. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There we go. There you all go. All right. All right, I've been waiting to see the stitches. Um, so, okay, well, the stitches that you have are underneath the skin, and they're dissolvable, so we have oh. no stitches to really look at. So, okay. That's kind of like a strong, starry strip. It'll stay for probably a couple more days, even when you get it wet. Okay. Um, are you okay if I wipe it with alcohol? Uh-huh. And, uh, I got a burn here. Oh, like, no. it was rubbing up against mm, the, uh... Okay. Yeah, the, the, oh, um, splint the there, yeah. Up. Um... Beneath that steri strip is my incision. It is quite small, which I was happy to see. Prior to surgery, the surgeon told me that the incision would be a very small one. And I was so excited to see that it actually was a very small incision. And um, I'll just have to wait until this steri strip falls off. I am able to get it wet. He told me he wants me to actually get it wet while in my showers and whatnot. And that burn on my ankle, that came from my ankle rubbing up against the splint. I felt it the whole time. It was itching and burning, but I couldn't scratch it. I have learned that an itch is a state of mind because I could not scratch any of the itches beneath the splint the entire time. And I just learned to let it pass. But this is what my incision looks like and my burn on my ankle. So yeah, underneath that, that strip there, that's your incision. And then underneath the skin is your stitches that again are dissolvable. Oh, okay. So after maybe a week or so, that, that brown sticker, uh -huh. it's gonna loosen up. You can just kind of help it on off that stitches there buried. So, okay, so um, nothing have to be taken out or anything. Correct, yeah. Awesome. Uh, those change out every time. Okay. I'm not doing anything fancy. All I'm doing is just putting this right over that incision okay and then wrapping it on so it stays okay so however you want to do this nothing too fancy okay, and then a sock can go yeah. over this uh -huh. but this is what i want on your skin okay so the trick is in four weeks when we see you on video and we say let me see your incision hopefully you're having to unwrap that's mm -hmm. kind of a test okay just take your boot off and go <laughs> i will follow yeah, yeah, protocol yeah, yeah, yeah. even if it seems a little excessive at that point just Trust me, we've had enough of these to kind of come back and send us pictures and say, this doesn't look great. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't. We have to take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it's because people just stop covering it and they're just wearing the boot. And Got it. We're actually today having to go back, do surgery again oh. on somebody who said, uh, just this one weekend, they were like, I don't want to cover it. I wore it in the boot. Mm -hmm. And then their incision got a little infected spot. Got it. Great. Mm -hmm. Now you can push down on it a little bit to try to get it flat, but it, when you start feeling that stretch, that's kind of when I want you to stop there. So leaving the splint and being placed in the boot was very uncomfortable at first. 
my foot was used to being in a particular position while in the splint and now in the boot it's in a different position so it was swollen it felt uncomfortable and my foot um it, it did hurt quite a bit um for some days but um now it's getting better and i'm getting more comfortable being back in the boot as my foot has uh, began to adjust to being back in the boot and no longer in the splint my doctor instructed me to purchase a shower chair so this is what you're seeing now i put it together and it's been perfect using it in the shower since I still am not able to put any pressure on my left foot or walk on it. Uh, yeah, so that's what you're seeing. This might sound strange, but I have been sleeping on this mattress on the side of my bed because it's a lot closer to the restroom. I'm able to roll off of the mattress and I typically will have my office chair directly alongside of the mattress. So I climb into the office chair. Since the office chair is my method for rolling around upstairs, I roll into the restroom to use the bathroom and I use the office chair to roll me up against the shower and then I have one crutch up against the side of the shower that I use to hop on one leg into the shower and then sit on my uh my my shower chair while while bathing but my office chair is my upstairs scooter and I have my scooter on the ground level these are some of the modifications accommodations that have to be made in order to you know, adjust to this injury. I'm making it, making it work. You got to make it work. I'll be in this um, boot for the next four weeks. And then I see my doctor on December 7th for a follow-up visit. And then he'll give me next steps. But while in this boot, I am not allowed to walk on it I cannot put any pressure on it. He said it's still healing. So another four weeks of non-weight bearing until I see him and then get instructions for next steps. I'll do another video once I see him on December 7th for my follow-up visit. Until then, be blessed, stay encouraged, and have a blessed and wonderful day.